everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my fourth look using the dark magic palette this is the last palette that i have yet to do a first impressions try on with and this is what the palette looks like and jacqueline reveals her four palettes this was one of the ones that I was also excited for. This one and also Armed and Gorgeous. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have first impressions, try on, swatch videos on all the other palettes as well. So if you have not checked out those videos, I will link them down below. But again, if you want to see my first impressions on Dark Magic, then just keep on watching. using the last palette today and yes I did film three videos today that's why you guys can see the same black shirt and same necklace I just put my hair up just because it's doing a new hairstyle so this is the last palette in the vault this is dark magic and again this is the v2 palette if you have not checked out my other videos I do have ring the alarm bling boss and also armed and gorgeous that I have uploaded already and this is the last one from the vault that I had picked up they do each retail for $15 I didn't mention this in any of my other videos but if you want to pick them up individually they do retail for $15 you can get it at Morphe and Ulta and then if you do want the vault and the whole packaging, the whole shebang, um, it is $45 or $49, something like that. I'm not sure. I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but let's go ahead and get started. So this, again, is Dark Magic. So here are the beautiful shades you get in this palette. This was another of the palettes that I was, like, gravitated towards. This one and Armed and Gorgeous were the two palettes that I was, like, I want you to you know so I really want to dip into the greens and this blue is also really pretty as well did I already prime my eyelids and set them as well I'm gonna go in with the shade called Shh, which is this nice taupey brown color and I'm just taking a fluffy brush putting my brush in there not too much excess kickback but there is some so again just applying this in my crease it is a cool tone color, but my eyes are getting a little raw just because this is the third eye look I've been I did today using these palettes. The Ring the Alarm actually filmed that like a few days ago. This is our last first impression, so we got this. <laughs> or I got this. <laughs> so I don't see anything wrong, no patchiness. It just looks like a brown crease color to me. Um, next up, I think I'm going to take the shade called Potion, which is this like olive green tone shade. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M535 brush and no excess kickback, nothing too crazy. And again, applying it in my crease. I keep having issues with like skipping. There's like skipping right here. So I'm just trying to blend it out there. I'm not having any skipping on this side. So I might just didn't set my eyeshadow primer well on this eye or I'm not sure. Just because I'm not having skipping on this eye. I'm going to go in with the Inside Job color right here. It's like a dark green shade with my Coastal Sense Classic Blending Brush. There is kickback on that, so just FYI. This color is pretty. This color does have a lot of kickback also, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't do my foundation just because there's like kickback on the palette. And I, it's not too crazy like the brown shade was in Armed and Gorgeous, but I just don't want that all on my face. So I did build up this inside job color, the dark green, in my crease a little bit just because I felt like it was like really light-handed. It looks a little skippy and kind of patchy, but once you build it up, it kind of starts looking a little grungy. kind of like it. But I'm going to do a half cut crease so it doesn't matter how like the lid looks. But I'm just trying to blend everything out. So I'm going to go in with my M535 brush and I'm going to take Potion again. And I'm just going to blend the edges right here. And 
And I like that they actually included a like brow bone color in this palette, which is Poof. So I'm going to take that and highlight my um, brow bone with that shade. This feels like it's a little dark for me. It works still, but if you are lighter than me, I feel like this color might be a little dark for you. So now what I'm going to do is take Busted and also Temptress. I'm gonna do that on my outer corners because I want more of like a dark blue, but this blue doesn't look super, super dark. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna take a few of the blue and some of the black and just apply it on my outer part right here. I feel like it's applying well. I don't have any issues. I haven't had issues with any of them except the two green colors. They did kind of look a little unblended and a little patchy. You just I felt like you just needed to build it up to really like intensify the color. I'm gonna kind of blend up here a little bit because I feel like the color's kind of going away. This inner part just won't blend. It wasn't blending for it, Armed and Gorgeous either. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease off of camera or do a half cut crease and I'll be right back to keep on moving along. <laughs> you guys, I really like the color combo of this look. So I'm actually going to take the shade called Power Cut. It's this color, taupey, silvery color with the Sigma E55 brush. I really like this brush because I find it that it's really nice to pack on color. So here's some color. It's not wet. I'm just going into the color and I'm going to apply it. Ooh, not bad. It kind of looks silvery on, but in this it looks taupey. Hmm. It's kind of different. So I feel like the color pigmentation is pretty good, but I'm gonna try and wet it in it to see like how much better it can be. So let's see here. Oh yeah, it just makes it more like foily. I'm gonna have to fix all this because it's kind of getting everywhere. I feel like the color wasn't that bad without being wet, but wetting it just makes it like extra metallic-y, which is, then looks really cool. I'm just gonna take my brush that I used and go into Busted, the blue and the black, and then kind of just blend out these edges here. And just kind of stamping and like dragging that way, so I don't have like a harsh line. So I feel like this look is pretty much complete. What do we think? I did notice that I feel like it looks a little patchy right here. So I kind of want to go into Inside Job, the dark green, and kind of reapply some right here. And I'm just, I like it. I like this look. I feel, again, the pa I see a little patchiness there. But overall, I still like the look. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my face and finish off the eyes with some liner and lashes. And I'll be right back to finish off the lower lashes with you guys. You guys, I'm not done with this look, but it's already my favorite look I've done from all four palettes. But let's go ahead and finish this off. So I'm going to take a black liner and I'm just going to be applying this in my waterline. And now what we're going to do is take a really small like packing brush like this. You can use a pencil brush. I'm just going to take the shade called... I was thinking inside job, but I did use the blue and the black together for the outer corner. So I think I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to do a couple in the busted shade and then a couple in the black shade, which is called Temptress. Temptress is super, super pigmented. There's like kickback on Temptress, so be careful with that shade. And I'm just going to kind of stamp this right here on my outer part. And then what I'm going to do is take my classic blending brush from Coastal Scents, and I'm going to go in with Potion, I think. Let's do Potion. And blend out any harsh lines.
You guys, I really like this look, like, a lot. So, I'm gonna go in again with my flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go back in to Power Cup, and I'm just gonna apply that in my inner corners as well. And we are all done. So I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes and apply a lip color. And I'll be right back and let you guys know my first impressions on the Dark Magic palette. So this is the final look. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I'm using ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Pinkies Up. And then for lashes, I'm wearing the House of Lashes in Iconic Light. So I just got done filming my swatches on this. And again, four swipes around the shadow four times per shadow to get a nice pigmentation on each color. These swatch horrible. The shimmer shades is the power cut, trickery, and diversion swatched really nicely, but all the mattes in here, except for this one, because you can't really see it, swatched horrible. I'm gonna put my swatches up. If you see my swatches and then this eye look, you would not think that I created this eye look from those swatches, like from that palette, from the swatches. It's so bad. The swatches were not good, guys. And again, I went one, two, three, four, and swiped it on my arm. Like, I am not giving shimmers like two swipes and mattes five, six swipes, or swipe it once and then swipe again. Like, no, it's one, two, three, four, swipe, and that's what I got. Like, the mattes sw swatched are not good, but I love this eye look. If I had to pick one palette, like my top palette from all four, this one would be my, like my favorite eye look that I've created from the four eye looks that I created using all four palettes. So again, these swatches, they didn't feel butter. They felt kind of dry and then they looked dry and they looked unpigmented on my arm. But other than that, like I feel like I didn't really have any issues with this palette. I did see a little bit of patchiness up here but I was able to kind of add more and blend it out. Um, the only one that I had issues with too was Potion. Like I felt like it wasn't blending out in my crease. My eyes are a little raw like right here just because this is the third eye look I've filmed today and it just kind of hurts like the brush is kind of just scratching my skin I guess. But other than that, I feel like this look is beautiful. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite look? If you've watched all four of my videos, which one was your favorite look? I feel like a lot of people won't gravitate towards this palette because it's like smoky colors. And a lot of people like like neutral everyday shades where I like them as well, but I gravitate more towards these kinds of colors. And of course, I can't wear these shades like every single day for work, but I would definitely rock this look out like night out, girls night out, date night. Like I love this look, honestly, it's beautiful. I feel like I had the least issues with this palette and compared to all the other three palettes. But overall, I really like this. First impressions, it's nice. I like this palette. I don't have any issues with this at all, except the potion shade again, the one that was in my crease that I wouldn't blend out over here. Again, just because I did a half cut, it doesn't really matter because it's covered. I'll have to see other reviews to see if they've had problems with that color as well. But overall, I like this palette. If I recommended a palette from a four, three, two, one, um, I would definitely recommend this one. This would be number one. The next one would be Bling Boss, which is the purple colors. Then it would be Armed and Gorgeous. And then the last one would be the neutral palette, which is Ring the Alarm. I did not not really like this palette I just had issues with this color in my video and yeah like the pigmentation was not there at all that didn't swatch nicely and it didn't apply nicely either but again dark magic was a thumbs up if you guys are eyeing this not sure about it so I would recommend this palette to you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions on all of the videos if you did enjoy this first impressions on the dark magic please give it a thumbs up let me know down below if you picked up any of the palettes what you thought of them um and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video bye